What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be continuing with the Neptune Through the Houses and Sinistry series. And I'm going to be speaking about having your Neptune falling into your partner's ninth house in Sinistry. comes to the ninth house this is the Sagittarius ruled house this is the house that's going to be all about things to do with philosophy spirituality higher learning and education and it's also going to have to do with travel and all those things that have to do with broad-mindedness and being open to exploring things of a broad-minded perspective and view even things like belief systems different belief systems as well Generally, when it comes to having this house activated in Sin Street, it is going to lead to having a relationship that in some ways is going to actually open your mind and even just open your way of seeing the world in a different way. Because there tends to be a lot of learning, a lot of learning together, and this house has a way of inspiring that kind of energy between two people. They're going to explore new cultures, dive deeper into more meaningful conversations and pretty much a new way of seeing the world is introduced. Which is why it also brings in this, this element of growth and expansion in some way. It is also a house that's going to really push the boundaries when it comes to thinking about things and looking at things and seeing things, especially for the ninth house person. Because this house is all about curiosity. It is a house that really brings in the sense of inspiration and even excitement around being able to learn more and also to be able to have deeper conversations and learning more about a person's belief systems, their visions. So between two people, this can make for a relationship that feels like quite the journey. And that can be literally because with the ninth house, this does also promote things like traveling, but also a journey like one where there is a spiritual journey which is leading to a lot of spiritual growth or even just an individual journey of self personal of personal development and going down that journey when it comes to having someone's pants in your ninth house this is going to onset that feeling and so when it comes to having somebody's neptune in your ninth house for the ninth house person the neptune person's worldview and even just ideas is going to be something that inspires the ninth house person quite a lot just the way that they look at the world and the way that the neptune person perceives the world that can be something very captivating to the ninth house person it can also be something that the ninth house person is not used to for that reason it can actually make the ninth house person even more curious about the neptune person because when it comes to the Neptune person and how they're making the ninth house person feel, there's this feeling that the Neptune person is expanding their mind and that the Neptune person also has this little bit of some mystery behind them. That's also something that's quite intriguing. So from the Neptune person, the ninth house person can feel like they're discovering new spirituality dimensions and even things like philosophy and overall what they want from life. And on the other hand, when it comes to the Neptune person and how they feel about the ninth house person, they can be very drawn to this adventurous spirit and this openness to explore side of the ninth house person. There is something about the ninth house person that's also inspiring to the Neptune person and also makes the Neptune person sense and feel that there is the potential to be able to actually have a partner that understands them deeply because of that side of the ninth house person that is very open to exploration as well as to just that adventurous spirit and when it comes to the neptune person this can inspire their dreams and that side of them that can at times be idealistic but now they feel like they found someone they can open up to and share that with and they also can sense that the ninth house person can in some way help them make those dreams a reality like with many overlays of having somebody's planets rolling into your ninth house and it feeling like a journey, having someone's Neptune coming into your ninth house also feels like a journey. It also feels comfortable to be able to go down a journey with someone. And not only that, but it can actually be a very exciting part of the relationship between the two of them. Making the relationship between the Neptune person and the ninth house person feel like one of a lot of mutual inspiration that they find in each other 
and this can also make for a very beautiful bond between two people because they also have the sense of shared purpose that they're working towards or going towards and it can be pretty exciting but when it comes to having someone's Neptune in your ninth house there can be some challenges especially around things like idealizing that can happen between the two and when it comes to Neptune and Neptune's energy this can be an energy that does bring in an idealized vision into the relationship and that can be even something that's translating to idealizing a person and even viewing someone as more perfect more ideal or even just more visionary than what they actually are and this can contribute to that feeling of having a very beautiful bond between two people but one thing is that it can also throw things off balance between the two partners because it's bringing in an element of illusion into this relationship which Neptune has a tendency of doing leading to one or both of the partners not seeing each other fully clearly in this relationship but generally with this overlay between two people the Neptune person here opens the ninth house person's minds and even when it comes to things like travel and travel aspirations the Neptune person has a way of being able to open the ninth house person's mind to new beliefs and even just different or unconventional ideas that the ninth house person may have not thought of before and in this relationship with this overlay they can go on a lot of great and even new deference and inspiring adventures and journeys together and they can even discover new ways of looking at the world together and even have a fresh outlook on life because of the influence they have on each other and with Neptune's energy and the ninth house energy they're likely to have a strong spiritual connection between the two of them they also get to go on what feels like this very exciting incredible journey together they both can have big ideas and within this connection they're both open to those so it can feel like this big shared adventure when it comes to the connection with having someone's neptune in your ninth house and they can both have some big dreams when it comes to this um overlay and when it comes to that the only thing is for them to both actually have a very grounded and practical way of planning the way forward when it comes to achieving these things and these dreams and making them into reality because while neptune has a lot of dreams that they kind of get lost in the ninth house person also has big ideas and big dreams that they also are open to and between the two of them they can be this very open energy to exploring those big dreams but when it comes to the ninth house and Neptune in this overlay, what's important is also to have a groundedness around being able to take practical steps towards making those dreams a reality. Because overall, this is a placement that works especially best when there is that sense of having things balanced out in their relationship with the frequent and occasional reality checks. Because when it comes to having your, ninth, your Neptune in your partner's ninth house, Generally, when these two partners, the Neptune person and the ninth house person are in sync, they are on the same wavelength, especially when it comes to things like beliefs and even when it comes to things like dreams for the future. They can have a lot of those things in common and they both tend to be quite open to having these. And overall, when it comes to having your Neptune and your partner's ninth house, the same make for a very great um, overlay to share with someone because it does bring in a very expansive and even very dreamy energy into the relationship where they can also not only just be able to ex enjoy in a very exciting connection but there's also a lot of growth that's possible when it comes to being able to learn a lot from the connection and from each other but also there is a spiritual element to their connection that they can also grow in especially sp spiritually growing through this connection and it can be quite inspiring it can also be a connection that feels like it is when grounded truly fulfilling as well because they can have an especially deep bond between each other because of being able to have a shared vision in this connection and that can really make it feel like a very fulfilling kind of journey to be able to go on with someone they can be especially open to being able to really explore new beliefs and even new philosophies and it can be full of a lot of wonder when it comes to the connection between the Neptune person and the ninth house person, making it feel like 
there's a lot of possibilities between the Neptune person and the ninth house person and they're very open to it and the connection can feel quite open-ended and inspiring because of that. Well, that does it for this video on having your Neptune in your partner's ninth house. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you found it helpful and that you found it enjoyable. And if you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel for more videos. Well, that is where I love and leave you. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.